Hi guys, welcome to lesson 11 of how to play great boogie woogie piano. What does it take to become a great boogie player? And I do hope you're playing the lessons back again and again and again to absorb the material because you do need to go through the lessons to pick everything up because there's a lot of material here. So don't be frightened of repeating the lesson again and again and again so that you really absorb the material. One of the mistakes I think beginners and even intermediate players make is rushing through the material without really absorbing it. And of course, are you listening regularly to good boogie woogie CDs in order to absorb the classic boogie woogie sound? That's another trick of the trade that you need to do is to listen on a regular basis so that you're really absorbing the authentic sound. You can go on Amazon and order the classic CDs and get it delivered to you so no excuse not to listen on a regular basis. Now today I want to show you a very nice right hand riff. Come over here to the right hand camera person. And it's one that I often use and we talked in a previous lesson about doing a third and putting in an extra note but you can also do this is another one that I like to use in, in kind of blues and boogie is instead of just playing a third I like to do this it's actually a fourth and I actually like to do this this is a kind of riff I like to do quite a lot in some of my blues stuff is can you see I'm doing C C sharp D G and the trick is to do a rolling motion okay the trick is the roll it's easy to play the notes but the trick is to get the whole sound so it sounds smooth like this. You can see that? Now the notes are easy. The notes are C, C sharp, D and G. And it's easy technically to play that. So everybody can do that. These are the notes. C, C sharp, D and G. Also good. But this is where it gets tricky. It's this. And when you put it with a chop it sounds like this. So the trick is to get the whole sound in a rolling motion. So see if you can do this. It sounds something like this. I'm not going to do that all the way through, you know, I over exaggerate, you need to put in other stuff there, but, uh, you know, if you put it into a whole kind of blues boogie thing, it would sound like this, but that is the essence of the lesson I want to teach you today, that, that kind of, riff. can you do it with that rolling motion, so it doesn't sound like, it, you know, you know, it's got to go, so you would put it in the context of a blues boogie, it would sound... that little rolling blues riff and again the notes are easy C, C sharp, E and G but the trick is that rolling motion and if you've got problems with that technically we do have a playlist on boogie woogie trills if you click on the playlist icon on the top of the YouTube page you'll see videos home playlist do investigate our playlist because on the playlist I've put together all the clusters of lessons that deal with certain topics and I've done a whole sort of 10 lesson cluster or playlist on boogie woogie trills so look for that if you've got technical problems doing the rolls or the trills whatever you like to call them do look at that playlist it's called boogie woogie trills and it'll help you get that, that kind of feeling as always press that like button are you subscribed are you coming back and you're not a subscriber press that subscribe button and of course visit the doctor K community Facebook page. If you go to Facebook and type in Dr. K Boogie Community, Dr. K Boogie Community, we've got kind of different videos on that Facebook page that we don't put on this page, sort of edited things and all sorts of things. So do visit the Dr. K Boogie Community Facebook page and uh, of course, have you got your Boogie Boogie sheet music? Go to www.badassboogie.com to download all the Boogie Boogie sheet music for these lessons and all the other cool Boogie Boogie learning stuff to help you on your Boogie Boogie journey. And I will talk to you very soon. Well said, camera person. By the way, people have been complimenting you on your lovely voice. Thank you. I've got a bit of a bad throat. Maybe that's why.